so after the heat wave of last week, um, it's cooler now. Um, we've had highs in the low 70s, and so um, and it rained last night, so I have actually taken my uh, cool growers and I'm going to move them back outside for this week so that they can get um, the temperature change and the sunlight. Um, so you can see here is my uh, cut personii right here. Uh, they're back out. And I'm still moving my two Masvidalias out. And um, I have, I found a Fimbriatum that is also a cold grower that I had inside. So I don't have a lot of stuff inside because, you know, moving them in and out is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, rained a lot last night. You can tell by everything that's collapsed over, but here's a really good example of how much it rained. So I am trying to grow some live sphagnum moss. And uh, this bowl was empty except for the moss when I put it out last night. So you can see that it rained quite a bit. And now I have fresh wine water for my moss. And that was a lot of rain last night. Uh, let's see, what am I doing right now? Um, right now, so I finally got almost everything out. I have a few small baby plants still on the on a fogger inside. Um, mostly because like, uh, like the rustic spots is still inside because it has no roots and I want it on the fogger so it stays um, humid and moist but not too wet so that it will root. Um, if you look at the table over here you can see I have stuff all over it because right now I am working on repotting all my um, nobly type dendrobiums so you can uh, can see where I stopped yesterday. This is my Springberg Karashiki. Um, it was so big that it's, uh, I have more pieces of it right here um, laying on the table. I have a piece of it in this pot here. Here's the main piece that I'm going to keep. Here's another piece of it right here. So it was huge and I already have like another division of it somewhere and I've, I've just got a whole bunch of like kikis now of it so here's like see there's there's a kiki there's a kiki um so i'll have to decide what i'm going to do with all these so look at this i mean that doesn't have a lot of roots so i'll have to work on getting that established before i can give it away um or sell it at the um ios fall show um you can see there's all these kikis right here so but yeah a lot they all got nicely watered. Um, oh yeah, there was a lot of rain last night. Um, this is my Encyclia radiata. This division right here, I'm giving away to Terry when I see him at Nats for the Illinois Orchid Society monthly meeting. Um, it's very very big. It's not actually potted up. It's just sitting in the pot so I didn't accidentally crush the new growths. You can see it has a whole bunch of new growths and I like to think of it as I'm giving Terry a division and then it's his problem what to deal with that monster. Uh, I am currently trying to move my orchid so that um, my singles are on this side of the growing area. So you can see here's my empty right now because I'm repotting the nobilies, which I had right here. You can see all the nicely uh, repot new spag. Um, I like to grow my nobilies in sphagnum moss. And then I am putting my extras over here and what I'm going to try to make my overflow area. Um, not everything here is extras, um, but a lot of stuff is. Um, so like, here's the nobilies that I have already redone. Let's see, this right here is Violet Fizz Luna. And so you can see I have overflows sitting right here. I actually had um, 
Catalea's that need to be repot over here, but the the ground's kind of slanted here, and so um, it's been windy, and they basically all fell off. And so um, they're currently sitting um, in my repotting area until I figure out where I can put them. But here's more, at least this has like a, a tray rack that I can rack things up in. Um, so, uh, my Catante, um, let's see, it's, oh, this is Odontinium Catante Pacific Sunrise. It's not an extra, but I don't have any place for it in my regular area. I'm hoping I'll make some with all these divisions that I'm doing. Um, so this, these right here are extra. Um, these are iOS, no ID Catleas. Um, I've got a few of my community pot divisions in the back there. An extra Alanagara apple blossom. Um, this right here, which is in blue, very nice, is um, an Oncidium Space Race Cocoa. It's slightly scented. It's an extra. My other one is also in bloom. Um, here I have some Oncidiums for the iOS. I was like, when you come in here and you look and you say, hey, look at this right here, it's blooming. No idea what it is. Um, untagged, untagged plant. I've got a bunch of Sobralia decora um, that I'm husbanding for the iOS. I have um, a bunch of Atrovialachia type, like this is microchip. Um, that I'm husbanding for the iOS that does not look like it's gonna do well and I believe I should probably give up on it and just compost these. That one's really dry looking. This one looks slightly better. That one might make it. But, you know, like look at that. That's that's not a good looking leaf. So, um, and some unknown paphiopetalums that I'm holding for the iOS. And hopefully those will go away. In October when the iOS has our fall show and we have our member sales table and um, we'll sell those to make some funds let's see what else this is my rack of um, Tokyo life which is an orange with red flares or yellow with orange flares depending on the shading um, I broke these out of a community pot like six years ago and I've been trying to grow them up to get them to bloom but they don't bloom look at how big they are they're blooming size but not blooming and I know that some of them have like chlorosis because keeping you know 50 some of these plants alive for six years was not the easiest thing so I'm gonna try to clean these out this year um, say this experiment of trying to figure out if these would all bloom out with different colored flowers is just over I failed failed to bloom out um, they're just like well duds um, so that's what I'm doing now outside I have let's see explain my summer organization no, I think we'll save that. We'll save that for a different video. Um, also because I still, as you can see right here, have plants stacked on top of pots. And so I still haven't made quite enough room yet in this, my growing area. But um, everything is nicely watered and it's cool. And repotting nobly hybrid dendrogen is what I'm doing right now. So, kind of nice. Kind of nice to have everything out. I wanted to add one last thing to this, like how I'm growing update, which is that I have these two tagged um, Vanda hybrids. This is um, Vanda Crown Chai Brownie, number 2020, and this one is um, um, Pracky Petch by Bits' Heartthrob. I think this one's actually like one of those bicolor pinks. I remember the flower on this. I think that's what it actually is. Anyways, 
um, they keep falling and hitting the ground. I mean, they're a little leggy now, but they got a good root system. And so I will send these to someone for shipping, um, plus, I guess, $10 each. Um, so that would, I think shipping will be, when I price these before, around $40 because they got a lot of roots. I have to use an oversized box. And so, um, be, so it'd be $50 if you want one of these. But they're not going to hang anymore for me because they've fallen down twice. And I think that's just a sign saying, hey, we need to go away. So um, leave a comment or um, send me a message if you're interested in having these two Vandas go to your home.